What's up guys? Uh, this video I'm gonna make is just going to be about as uh, is obvious in the title eating around the holidays how to eat around the holidays and how to uh, how to do some damage control basically <laughs> so let's get right into it um, if you're tracking macros it's gonna be fairly easy uh, all you have to do is adjust your macros a bit it's all gonna depend on your appetite how much you are gonna be eating uh, during the holidays um, let's say for example Christmas dinner if you're having a big dinner if you're eating if you're one if you have like a big family and you have one of those families where you guys have a big dinner on Christmas Eve and then a big dinner on Christmas uh, then you'll have to adjust accordingly um, for me I'll explain how I do it and then I'll give you some general guidelines um, so for me what I do is uh, leading up to the day and uh, the remainder of the week so it is Tuesday the 23rd and Christmas is the 25th let's say I'm gonna have a big meal on Christmas um, I'm going to deduct 10 to 15 grams of protein daily out of my daily macronutrient intake um, I'm gonna take out about 10 grams of fat uh, as well out of my daily macronutrients nutrient intake and 50 grams of carbs so that way when I do um, when I do have a big meal I'm a big eater uh, so if I do have a big meal uh, for Christmas Christmas Eve you know a few extra sweets that maybe that I uh, should have taken down a little notch um, I'll either be at my same caloric expenditure for the week so the same amount of calories that I should have been getting had I been eating normally or even if I am a little bit over it's not significantly over uh, as a so again those are the numbers that I would personally do for myself um, as a, you know there's multiple factors like how long you've been dieting what your macros are some people can't afford to well I mean they can but it's gonna be hell but you won't be they won't be able to afford to cut like 50 carbs a day it basically be dragging uh, the whole week um, so again these are those are just general guidelines uh, or sorry that's just what I do as a good guideline uh, I'd recommend dropping uh, 15 grams of protein a day 10 grams of fat and about somewhere around 30 carbs so that is a good way to hit your um, caloric needs for the end of the week or get pretty close to them um, let's say if you're a, if you're a bro if you're if you're eating four to six meals a day for now and you're not necessarily tracking your calories you're just kind of eyeballing um, what uh, this is actually pretty easy as well and you're basically doing the same thing um, just in a different way but what you're going to do is you're going to want to take out one of your largest meals every day leading up to um, and past the day of whatever the event is, in this in this case Christmas. Um, so if I'm having four, let's say I have five meals a day and meal number four is the biggest meal of the day that I usually have. Um, you know, let's say it's a, I don't know, a uh, one cup of rice, a sweet potato and and five to six ounces of uh, grilled chicken breast um, I'll take take that meal out every day uh, again um, leading up to the event and past the event for the remainder of the week that simple uh, if you're not doing either if you're just kinda if you're just eating <laughs> if you're just eating to eat and you want to you want to uh, not gain 20 pounds over <laughs> over Christmas break um, you just have to be smart about it guys again you just have to eat less uh, yeah eat less than what you're burning or the same amount just depending on your goals uh, if you're bulking or you know if you don't care if you don't care <laughs> then just turn this video off right now but uh, you know if you're bulking you could probably get away with a lot more if you're cutting or if you're trying to maintain and 
again, not trying to gain 20 pounds over the holidays. These are good guidelines. Um, but like I said, you have to be smart. If you're not doing either, um, if you're eating out uh, a lot during the week, or even if you're eating um, at home, but you're eating things with a lot of high fat content, uh, such as fried chicken, excessive amounts of cheese, things with a lot of um, avocados, uh, guacamole. If you're cooking with, you know, something as simple as instead of cooking with uh, olive oil, uh, cook with some nonstick spray, some zero calorie spray, and that will make a huge difference alone. Um, but again, peanut butter, avocados, uh, anything fried, just avoid anything fried leading up to that, or just minimize it. You know, that's it's as simple as that. Just minimize it, guys. Be smart. You know what you're doing wrong. You know if you're if you're cheating a little bit. If you're uh, if you're overindulging, you'll probably you're probably feeling it at the end of the day. Uh, when it's all said and done, though, guys, remember to enjoy your time with your family. Uh, I know, and I've been guilty of this as well. Uh, so I'm not pointing the fingers, but some friends and family. Uh, Especially with things on like social media, uh, they turn it into like an eating contest or it's almost like they're bragging like, oh, look how much I've ate. Or, and again, like as I've said, I've, I've done this. I think I just did this yesterday, but whatever. Uh, don't turn it into an eating contest, guys. Um, it's not who has the biggest plate or who could post the... Uh, most delicious plate on Instagram. Um, remember what the holidays are about. Uh, remember why you're celebrating the season, no matter what your religion is. Um, and also don't enjoy to, don't forget to enjoy quality time with your family. Um, again, let's not turn it into an eating contest. And, um, and that's it guys, just enjoy your time with your family. Uh, focus on your family more than what you're gonna eat and that will get you through this holiday season um that's it hopefully this hopefully this has helped you guys um if it has helped you hit that like button down there uh please share it with your friends if it's helped you uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe uh hope you guys all have a merry christmas happy hanukkah kwanzaa whatever your religion is and i hope you guys enjoy your holidays and have a happy new year